A long planned repaving project is now weeks away from becoming a reality in Palo Alto. But for dozens living in RVs along El Camino Real, that project also means it's time to find a new place to call home. As NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole explains, city officials are trying to help. If you've driven along El Camino Real just outside of Stanford, this is a common sight. RVs lining the curbs with people living inside, but starting September 3rd, they'll have to find a new place to stay. Caltrans is set to start a year-long repaving of El Camino Real from Sand Hill Road all the way down to 237 in Mountain View. Most of the work will happen overnight between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m., but during the project, vehicles won't be able to park on the street. For people living on wheels like your mom and his wife, it's the latest challenge as they try to figure out how to make it in the bay. He says you have to constantly move it since you can't leave it in one place, so now we have to see if we move it up or down the road. The couple, originally from Venezuela, has lived here for four months, paying $1,000 a month to rent the RV. To help people like them, the Palo Alto City Council just voted this week to expand the safe RV parking site near the Baylands Golf Links on Gang Road. The 12 spots now will be expanded to 22 spots for RVs. Caltrans says the repavement project will not only make the drive smoother, it will also update curbs to meet ADA standards and improve access and safety for pedestrians and cyclists. But once finished, bike lanes will replace 500 to 600 parking spaces, meaning these RVs won't be allowed back, at least not here. Germán says now we have to look for a space where it's not a problem and we are safe. We reached out to Caltrans for an interview about the project. The spokesman said he was not available. In Palo Alto, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.